106, LA's number one for hip hop inside Brown Bag Mornings right Let's now go. with Ella Mae. Yeah. Ella, you're our first guest. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You guys thought it off great then. I Thank know, you right? Thank you for having you me. You didn't want our taco offering. <laughs> That's what we were trying to do with every guest, but I guess this early is not enough. She not looked good. at us crazy. She's like, tacos. She's like, in the morning. <laughs> it's, it's too early. But if you guys want tacos, then by all means, have, have your tacos. I love, love your action. Yeah. You. Sounds like you're about to do like a spell in Harry Potter. Oh my. I'm he loves board. Harry Potter. You are taking him to Harry Potter land right now. He's What's in Hogwarts. Favorite? What's your favorite Harry Potter movie? Uh, book, book, I would I say, I would say. Prisoner of Azkaban and the Order of Phoenix. Yeah. So three and five. Do you Prisoners. have a That's favorite, a Ella? Um, I think I like the first one. That's Sorcerer's Stone, right? Yeah. 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 I think I like the first one. Being from there, because I always think like, clearly it takes place at the like the London um, train platform, even though it's like a fantasy land. Mm -hmm. It's definitely set in London. Do you see it? Do they get things wrong? Or they pretty much got it on point? Uh, I mean, I, it's a make-believe world, right? Technically. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like... It, it's a, it's kind of far fetched, but there definitely are train platforms that get stuff wrong. But you're not gonna end up in like a no Hogwarts, right? Yeah. You're not gonna end up in Hogwarts. <laughs> you're not, you're you'll just end up really mentors. far from where you were supposed to be. But yeah. <laughs> so so it's like for us when we see like Mexican movies and they use the the worst lingo or like the worst yeah. accent ever. Or everyone it bugs, does it bug you yeah. when they say like Leviosa and stuff like that? <laughs> see, <laughs> nobody <laughs> says that to me. <laughs> I'm just saying like with the accent like hello. Uh, it, I, I think I'm used to it at this point. Yeah, okay, you, okay. I think it used to bother me, but at this point, it's just. Uh, yeah. I was talking to a friend of mine about code switching, and mm -hmm. it's essentially like you change your language depending on your environment. Like they don't cuss here; they cuss like shit when we're at other <laughs> places. But on the radio, they don't. I'm really proud of them. But there's people <laughs> even that like a certain type of Spanish, depending on like the the person you're speaking to, you'll switch your Spanish up to like that country's mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of like little twang. Mm -hmm. Do you find people try to talk to you? Yeah. Like you? Yeah. It, it's <laughs> like um, more often than not, people actually try and do. But I think a lot of American people get confused with Australian and English. And accents. English. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So a lot of the time, I feel like people sound a lot more Australian. Yeah. Than, they start than saying they crikey. English. And it's like, we don't say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, <laughs> yeah. we don't say mate like so that. So you're like in the studio that's like, does Mustard talk to you a little different? No. Like, <laughs> press <laughs> record, <laughs> mate. Mustard straight from L.A. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not talk to me any different. <laughs> Shout out to our brother Mustard, man. You're in here. We got the deluxe version coming of your album. And you got the uh, show at the Novo. Yes, On I the do. way. Man, yes. shout out to L.A. Uh, I'll be the there. Novo I'll be there. is great. Yeah. The Novo is great. We actually sold it out in December Congrats. as a podcast. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was all our cousins. <laughs> we're in Los Angeles. It's like we just said, "Hey, you guys, free free food," and they came. Yeah. All right, no, but you're coming through. Thank you so much for coming through. You know, when we talk about LMA, of course, you have the looks, but you also have the character. You also have like the full package because the voice hits. Thank you. You know, every music, every song of yours hits. I love in particular off this album. Um, don't fuck me up, DFMU. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love the little like because that's a text. Hey, don't mm -hmm. fuck me up. Yeah. I've right? never used that right. one. That might be an English one. Because I always say, <laughs> I always say F W M D. I say fuck with me, dog. And mm. so like I like write it out. When I saw that, I'm like, we're meant to be homegirls. <laughs> don't fuck me up. Fuck with me, dog. <laughs> Come yeah, on. There go. Come yeah. on. That's a good one. I've never actually heard that one, but yeah. that's a good one. Talk to me about like just the the writing process. Mustard is very critical. Mm -hmm. I've seen him work. And he's he'll tell you if it sucks. Oh, for you sure. You know, and I'm sure that's like a steel sharpening steel vibe with you and him working together. Can I, you talk to me about the project? Yeah, I think it works well because I'm very much the same way. Mm -hmm. Like, if he plays me something and I don't like it, it's we're we're open to be like, no, I don't like this. And if I play him something and he doesn't like it, he's open to be like, I don't like this. Dang. Which is the best working relationship, to be honest, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't want somebody to lie to me and then we put stuff out and it's just not it. So like, we have to be open and honest with each other if we're gonna work. Right. Like, you right. know. Um, on stuff that we both care about so much as well. Like, Mustard treats my albums as if they're his they're albums, his. and I treat yeah. his albums as if they're my albums. So, like, just to be able to have that partnership, and, like, Mustard's like my big brother, so it's just, like, there's nothing that he can say. I mean, there are things that he can say right. that will hurt my feelings, but, like, I, I, I take it differently um, coming from him and, and vice versa. So. You know it comes with love, and you know that, like, he has m as much invested in it as you do. It's not just a critic. It's not just a hater. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think he's he he's never steered me wrong. So, like, if he tells me something and he's like, just trust me. Because sometimes I don't always agree, of course. You know, mm -hmm. like, I have my own opinions. But, like, he's like, I've never steered you wrong. Just trust me. And to be honest, he's always right. So Well, you guys have the same goal, right? Yeah. It's to get mm -hmm. the plaques and to go on tour and yeah. like, stuff Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Absolutely. That's but, uh, awesome. Yeah. When you sing, your accent doesn't really. Mm -hmm. Is is that like a, you know how to, t is that more for like a cadence thing where like America is probably like the biggest market, so I got to sell it there before 
I do anything else? No, like England, we have a we have a big market in England, not necessarily for R&B, but I think it's more so, it's not like a conscious thing that I do. Right. I think it's more so just like who I grew up listening to mm. and my influences. And I think it's like the same when people talk about like English actors who, who are able to do American accents. Yeah. Like we're exposed to a lot more American right. culture when we're younger, I think, mm. as opposed to like the other way around. Like we grow up watching American movies and listening to American music. So it's just kind of, it's not even, I don't even realize that I'm doing it. It's just how, how it comes how it out. Comes out yeah. i've actually because then i was thinking about this too i think that's a little bit self-centered of americans to think that singing is american or like the, the <laughs> like the language of singing because it's it's you're long noting right mm -hmm. singing yeah. is singing right maybe that's just how singing is everywhere I, mean, I don't know that i've heard someone be like they sound british when they're singing you there know? are some people but they but i feel like their type of music is more is is like closer to talking than it is singing but yeah it, it's both so there's a combination but i mean um, i feel like america thinks that the world revolves around yep. them anyway so yeah. oh, like, really? Really? so thank you for coming <laughs> yeah. so it's okay well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, do they have any latinos in britain or in england or there definitely are there's not as many as as over here but yeah. there definitely are yeah yeah we want to go what are your thoughts go. on how people say there's like a british invasion like recently mm -hmm. right of when it comes artistry? to artistry actors mm -hmm. um artists and it's like like you mentioned like actors right like Damson idris mm -hmm. on snowfall and everybody's like he's not from la you know <laughs> what i'm saying like i'm sure at first a lot of people were like wait the like lma is not from la like sign to the, mustard, yeah. sign to mustard and you just assume that like you know she's from lamert or something yeah. i feel you know like there's so many people that still don't know that i'm not from la just because of the association yeah. with yeah. mustard um but I don't know. I, I, I love the British invasion, to be yeah. honest. Like, when you go back years and years and years, it's like, yeah, some of us are American now and some of us are English now, but we're all from the same place. So it's like, yeah. I don't... I think we should just appreciate talent for talent. It doesn't Absolutely. really matter where you're from. If, I like if, it. if you're able to do it, then also you're able do to better do it. Americans, huh? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, literally. We, need to invade if no, you guys also, we want everybody to be from LA. So we're gonna claim you regardless. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're from LA. Where, where would you, where what would city would you be you? from if you're from Los Angeles? I have no clue. Come on. I don't know. I don't want to say anything. Ah! Say, say the wrong <laughs> thing. I don't know. Okay, you can be from downtown LA. I don't want to be from downtown. Oh, are you from? Okay, first of all, we got a lot of great things. It's I mean, like, like, yeah. The, La the Lakers. Okay. okay. We have Dodger Stadium. Uh -huh. Okay. We have Echo Park. You've been to Echo Park before? Yeah, I have been to Echo Park. Okay, do you, did you like Park. it? Yeah. It's white now, fool. Well, growing <laughs> up, it was beautiful. Like, I believe you. I believe you. Gentrification is real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gentrification is, is a huge thing. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm, not, I'm not listening to you. I'm going to listen to We're going to go to the show. I like that we talk about British invasion because, low key, at least we let you in with our invasion. They build borders. So it's yeah. like, it's shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys. Listen, politics. But like, yeah. Do you do you think you could tell when someone else is from there? Cause like, I think it was a trip to everybody when Twenty One Savage when they he had his whole situation <laughs> yeah. and people like were even remixing his lyrics to be like, oh, this is what they meant by shooters and it's like English people. <laughs> but could you like, I don't know. I think it's like a tell. I could tell another Hispanic person. Could you tell somebody else that's from like the other side, the I, over the pond? I mean, I would have never known that Twenty One was was from, yeah. right. from England. I from but I, but I get it because he moved when he was young. Yeah. So like you know they say when you move. I moved to New York when I was twelve. But I wow. moved back to London, so I feel like I still uh, right, gotcha. somewhat have. Yeah, if I lived in, if I stayed in New York, I probably wouldn't feel as attached to London as I do, and so I can understand why he feels like he's from Atlanta. He's from like, Atlanta, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you move you somewhere you young, that's all yeah. you know. You don't remember stuff from when you're one and two, and, yeah, you know. Right. So like, yeah. I, I get it. I mean, the accent gives it away. So if I True. if I meet someone who has an English accent, I obviously already know that they're from England. But like, just looking at someone, right? It depends. Sometimes I can, but they not have all like the time. a vibe or maybe yeah. like a I, style of dress. Or yeah, I feel like people Things Just are changing it's... though, right? Because like you see Central C and he's like always in a Nike tech. Mm -hmm. Is that like now like how, music? but like a lot of people yeah. from LA do that too. But a lot of people from New York also yeah. wear Nike yeah. techs too. So like, I don't know. I, you can't I, call it anymore. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. It you depends. can't profile, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you a fan hard. of the drill music in the UK? Um, I'm a fan of drill to a certain extent. I won't say I'm the biggest fan of drill, okay. but that's but that's drill from anywhere, not yeah. just the UK. Yeah. I know yeah. from in Chicago and and everything else. Yeah. So like that's drill from anywhere. I I do love um the fact that everyone's becoming a lot more uh, familiar with english uh, mm -hmm. rap though i yeah. do i do appreciate that. that it used yeah. to be so like niche and so like oh like not even like people would just consider it like oh that's the uk mm -hmm. rap right mm -hmm. but now it's everywhere we're listening to it the freestyles are popping mm -hmm. like it's it's a part of it now too they like, can't escape and it. it's super influential like the mm -hmm. whole london like skepta everybody wants mm -hmm. to sound yeah. like him now it's like it's really dope it's crazy because i thought like 
before I feel like there was such a culture barrier that people didn't um, understand UK rap because I think when you think of people who have English accents, you mm -hmm. don't necessarily take them seriously if they're speaking about like violence. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I first ah, moved to New York, yeah, people yeah. asked me like, do I know the queen? Like, do, and I'm that just like, that was my next question. I'm, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, more do you, <laughs> how do you feel about her? Do you know yeah. the president? Like, it's just, it's yeah. just step away from the Queen's guards. But I love that. But I understand why because everything yeah. that everything that you see from England most part, for the most part is the royal family. Yeah, yeah. whatever's on see. TV. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it's obviously there's a portion of England that's like that, but there's so much more that you don't see. Exactly. Yeah. Dang, that's, that's so dope. I love just what you're pushing beyond just the music. It's it's your presence and your influence. I'm of course along with mustard, but it's it's great to see so many people. I know I was talking to I was talking to an artist. I believe her name is Ray. Mm -hmm. Um and I love she Ray. spoke about how you coming to America and you making it out here gave her the push to come out here and do music mm -hmm. too because it might be like over there there's a certain formula that you have to fit in order to really make mm -hmm. it and out here you could be more free but even just your example alone is opening doors just by being you and being out here yeah thank that's you dope. and I love Ray make sure you yeah. go and listen to my 21st Century Blues that's her album that oh, she yeah. just dropped she's dope. amazing Fire. That, she's great um, talk to me about the deluxe. What can we expect on the deluxe? Um, the deluxe is three three new songs. Um, two o'clock. This is and our song are the names of the song. It's really just an extension of the album of, the album. of, of mm -hmm. what we already had. Like you know, everybody is very familiar that I love to sing love songs. So yeah. like, yeah. it's an extension of that for sure. Um, and just it's it's the same vibe. It's just yeah, it's just an extension. I I wanted to kind of give my album because my like heart on my sleeve means so much to me i wanted to give it another kind of breath of fresh air mm -hmm. and i'm going on tour like we said so yeah. uh that's even more songs to perform oh, on a yeah. set list so I'm and i'm sure it's like you drop the album and you're like oh these songs could have been on there too and it's like now There's it's so a, a moment to be have them on there i recorded 80 songs in my album Sheesh, wow. Wow. prolific wow. who are you Tupac? are you heartbroken <laughs> at the moment am i heartbroken though no. she sees about Good. love her songs are more like bomb like oh, i know but you could be you can make a love song to be heartbroken True. yeah and you can be heartbroken to make love songs exactly so. you know what I mean? yeah. do you cry at the studio uh <laughs> i think I've, you i think i've cried once i think singing? i've cried once yeah damn they broke yeah. your heart heart <laughs> it's just being in the, in the what song uh hide which is a ballad on my Yay. album but it wasn't it wasn't uh it's not a sad song like you would hear it and think that's but a sad you're song. hitting notes yeah, yeah it's yeah. just it's not i wasn't crying like heartbroken tears okay, i think yeah. it's just like it just made me emotional the but, power of it yeah okay uh, there's always been my question towards r&b singers and like just like the chris browns and drakes and the youth in the world right I'm like, do you guys get in relationships to hope to get heartbroken so you can make better music? Absolutely not. I don't know about anyone else, but I don't. I do not. I do not put I'm myself just saying, in the I, I wonder like, no. if you're like, this guy right here might break my heart. Let's do Good. it. No, Next I album on the way. <laughs> no, I feel it because I get into relationships sometimes for content too, you know? So, oh, just like, to so I can talk about it on the radio. Oh my yeah. gosh, man. I mean, <laughs> I think that relationships are our biggest, uh, what's the word? Are our biggest... Um, Market inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. Music, yeah. All that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I think with R and B, like, if we take Mary J. Blige for example, mm -hmm. right, who had a very hard time in a lot of relationships in her life, but mm -hmm. the music is music incredible. incredible. Yeah. Um, but you still have to look at that person as a human being. Like, it can't be nice to continuously go through something that like really, That's really trauma. messes messes yeah. you up. Yeah, and regardless of how how much we love the music, because I love the music too, but it's just like there has to somewhat be a balance. So I feel like my album, there's a balance of like. There's a few heartbreak songs, but it's yeah. definitely love songs too. Let's yeah. go, Ella May. Thank you so much for stopping <laughs> Thank by. Thank you for having Ella, me. you know your name is Aya in Spanish, and yeah. that means that she. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, we we have a, a bet really quick. All right, oh, we, they have we, a bet. we imagine what your favorite mall in LA is. So okay, because they're like, a hey, mustard must have taken her on a tour. Oh, okay. I'm sure that happened. Like, hey, you gotta know LA. If you're with me, you gotta know LA. Must have been take me on the tour. Okay, <laughs> you went on your own. Huh? You went on your own. Like no. to sightsee LA. No. Uh. Ish, I, I guess he did take me to some places, yeah. but like, like stuff you gotta know. Okay, favorite mall in Los Angeles. I don't really like the mall. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't really like the mall, so no, I don't not. have one. <laughs> Love your accent. <laughs> I know you've been waiting for a moment to try it, and that okay. was not it. I'm an online shopper. Yeah. I'm have online you been shopper. to the Topanga Mall? Yeah, I've been to the Topanga Mall. Have you been to the Culver City Mall, Westfield? Yes, that one's nice. That's the that's a newer Which one. Which one's right? your favorite out of the two? Out of the two, they have a bet. Pick one. 
Uh, I'd probably say co- the Culver City one. Damn, that's right. Now you got to punch him in the nuts. That's, that's <laughs> the, that, no, Shout out you for being tapped in and I'll be with the white people in Topanga. Yeah. <laughs> LMA, thank you so much for coming through. Thank You're you. our first thank guest. You. You're our first prima. You are a cousin. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. <laughs> and of course, the album is Hard on My Sleeve Deluxe. Make sure you go peep that. I know you've been listening to it already. And the Novo Show. When's the Novo Show? May 6th. May 6th. 6th. May. It's coming. May 6th. Right Novo Show. Right, right after, after Secret of the Mile. Yeah. So you gotta bring it out. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll have some tacos on stage. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Look at that. We won't be there. Oh, wobbler. <laughs> we're like, <laughs> we're like roaches. You put, the co- you put the tacos out, we're there. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. through. It's Power 106. Let's go. Yeah.